Nintendo, 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 stop doing this, man. I hate it. I hate it. I hate when companies do this and they try and upsell things that you don't actually own or don't have or are able to play without something else. Um, the hint, games that hinge on something else to play, whether it be DRM or cloud gaming. Nintendo are really trying to push this thing, and I, I think it sucks, and they need to stop it. Let's get into it, guys, and let's talk all about it. I'm Blaze2K. Okay. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon, and have a good Friday and a weekend. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm Blaze2K. Okay. Hopefully you've liked already. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, Nintendo hosted a Nintendo Direct event. Just... A little bit over a week ago on the 13th of September and it was full of cool new games sneak peeks at new games that were coming out but one thing they announced was that Nintendo not Nintendo Resident Evil Village a game that I'm still playing by the way on the channel um, I'll get around to it all right I'm scared of Resident Evil games I don't want to play it but I need to play it anyways the announced Resident Evil Village is coming to the switch but not in the way you'd expect they're doing this whole cloud gaming thing they're advertising it as basically the game's coming to nintendo switch but there's a little bar underneath the image that says cloud what does cloud mean what does it mean well it means you're not going to be running the game on the actual nintendo switch you're basically going to be game streaming it to the nintendo switch so you're not going to be able to own it and you will need to have to have an internet connection just to play it now had this been like through Xbox Game Pass, if they just slap Xbox Game Pass on the Nintendo Switch, I wouldn't be complaining. You know, playing Resident Evil, playing whatever, via Game Pass, via game streaming, it wouldn't be so bad because you'd be able to load up the same game up on your Xbox, um, on your gaming PC. But, but, but with this, you're basically paying for a game that you can only access with an active internet connection. Now, they're not only just doing that with Resident Evil um, Village, they're also doing it with Biohazard, Resident Evil Biohazard, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. They're basically selling you games that that are, aren't there. You're basically paying full price for a game that you're having to stream the video off online. You can't play it without your wi-fi you can't play it out and out and about um most likely because let's be honest when you're out and about on local public wi-fi networks or on the train or in a hotel th those sorts of environments are just not designed to be able to handle game streaming right and what kind of experience you're going to have it's going to be miserable so you're paying this money to have a crappy experience that you can only enjoy at home when you've got like when you're like right next to the gate right next to your internet router right and it sucks um and i really wish nintendo would just cut it out stop trying to sell us cloud games individual cloud games not services like like i said if they included playstation now or something on this thing or xbox game pass or even nvidia or valve's um steam cloud streaming stuff on the switch um that would be a different story but the fact that they're selling individual games that get cloud streamed to the device because the device can't handle it on device. It drives me mad. Um, Nintendo, you really just need to just finally quit beating around the bush and just release a Nintendo Switch Pro that can handle these games. Um, look at, we've got this, uh, where is, where's my Steam Deck? I've lost it, my Steam Deck's lost. Oh no, it's over here. Look at Valve, they released a, power, a powerhouse. Um, of a console that can actually play your games nintendo this thing this steam this valve steam deck can actually play your games better than your own hardware which is kind of sad yes it's a good bit bigger than the switch Lite, i will admit but it's pretty sad um nintendo it's been when you release it 2017 it's been five years nintendo we need an upgrade everybody's updating these handhelds everyone's pushing out handhelds these days everybody wants a handheld everybody's buying handhelds Companies are making handhelds and they're updating them on a regular basis. This whole release a new handheld every seven years deal just isn't going to work anymore, Nintendo. And you're going to really lose out to companies like Valve who make the Steam Deck because these guys are making consoles every year or every two years, just like smartphones, right? Because technology's getting technology's advancing and advancing. Technology is advancing so fast at a rate that we haven't seen for a while. So, Nintendo. Stop trying to 
skin pow. Stop trying to cheat the consumer by releasing cloud games, individual cloud games. It just makes no sense to me, and it's just, it honestly, it's a little bit scammy. So please, Nintendo, please cut it out and give us what we really want, a Nintendo Switch Pro. And preferably a Nintendo Switch Pro in the size of a Switch Lite, because I love the Switch Lite. The Switch Lite is such a great, um, a great device in terms of like its ergonomics and the size of it, and it's just love it. Just I want a powerful one. Anyways, guys, I'm Blake Stuke. Let me know if you agree in the comments down below. Um, have a wonderful day, and um, have enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend, and please tickle that like button down below this video. It helps the algorithm, helps me out. Hit the subscribe, click the bell icon for more tech content, gaming content, you name it. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.